okay so now uh, for setting up our database we'll go ahead and go to uh, mongodb atlas and this is actually a cloud-based uh, database service that we can use so all we need to do is we need to sign up using our uh, basic details and when we click on get started free um, after this loading screen you'll see that it starts setting up our server so before it starts setting up our server we do need to uh, give it a few uh, configuration details so I'm gonna go for developing an app so if you are just learning you can also select learning MongoDB we're gonna use AWS which is selected by default and you can use uh, the nearest server to your location or the server that is closest uh, to the location where most people are gonna use your app so in my case it's just a practice app so I'm gonna go ahead and select Mumbai and uh, once we start the cluster it says your cluster is being created and so just uh, when the cluster is created I'll continue this video okay so the cluster has now been created and you can see that there is a connect button here uh, when you click on that there are a few uh, details that are present so you can create a mongodb user if you like um, which we will be using for accessing this database so we'll go ahead and set the password as food app and the username as mubashir now we'll create the mongodb user once the user has been created uh, we'll just go ahead and choose a connection method so now we're connecting to an application and that application is actually a node.js application um, and it will just uh, give you some details on how to connect uh, you can click on the short srv connection string you can copy that and uh, right after that we'll just go ahead and paste it in our code uh, you can see the uh, documentation of MongoDB has opened up, but we don't want to directly use MongoDB. Instead, uh, we're going to use Mongoose, uh, which is a library for maintaining our uh, collections. We can create a model and we can, you know, basically work with that model. So it's a helper library that you can use. We'll go ahead and uh, say const Mongoose equals require Mongoose. And we'll grab this piece of code and paste it here. Um, now we need to connect so the connect URL is going to be the URL that is provided and we'll add in the password um, in the placeholder then we'll grab the rest of the code and we'll put it in an API this API is going to be called add kitty so now I sent the model as the response here but um, before we actually start we need to install mongoose so we'll go ahead and do that by saying npm install mongoose and uh, now we should be ready to go so we can say node born index.js and the server starts so now if you go to postman and you go ahead and change the url to add kitty um, now i just moved this uh, model to the top because it will be used by different apis and uh, the response is actually not going to be cat it's going to be the kitty that we just created um, now this is actually not the right way to do it because we're saving it and then we're separately sending a response which means it won't wait until uh, the document is actually saved. You'll see how that is a problem in a minute. So we'll send the request and it gives us an error that it's not able to post because uh, by default uh, my postman had selected post request which is not the case. We need a get request and when we send the request we get a response. So now we'll go ahead and create another API and this second API is going to be get kitties. So we are going to get all of the cats that we just created. Um, so this is going to be a simple straightforward API that gets uh, the cats by using the find method of mongoose and we'll send that as a response. Here you can see I've used a wait which will basically convert our asynchronous code to synchronous code. It will grab those cats and just send it back as a response. Um, now we'll also add something to the catch. So in case we have an error, we'll just display the error message in the response. Now here I made a small mistake. You can see that it's not a JSON object. I just fixed that and sent the request. Now, interestingly, we get an error on await and not interestingly because, well, we're supposed to use the async keyword before the function in order for this to work. So we'll send the request and we have, uh, we are getting a response here. But uh, notice that this is the add kitty method. Um, so I can add another kitty if I want. But I'll just change this to get kitties. 
and uh, interestingly we're not getting any response whatsoever the reason we got a response from uh, the first um, API was because we were directly sending the response we didn't actually wait and check if uh, the cat was actually saved so when I co tried consoling the error actually I didn't get anything because well the error was there from the very start um, so I thought maybe it's because of async await I got rid of that I put everything in a then method method um, and that didn't work either so what exactly are we doing wrong here uh, now first of all we need to create a database with which we didn't do so just go uh, in on atlas and create a new database and create a new collection within it if you like um, now it doesn't matter if you create a collection or not but you do need to create a new database now you need to go ahead and click on connect and add your current IP address and uh, this IP address should be open to everything for now this is not the safest method but yeah for testing purposes this is okay so we'll just create uh, we will just adjust that and uh, we'll go back to our code and we'll send a request now surprisingly that didn't work either why did that not work can you guess what we did wrong everything appeared to be correct but what I did wrong here was when I said 0000, zero, zero, zero it actually added the subnet of slash 32 but what we need to do is add a subnet of slash 0 uh, so this would mean it should allow everything or every connection from basically any host um, and send a response so now when we uh, fix that we send a request and we get a response so I'll just add a kitty now and then I send the request and I get a new kitty in the response and as expected now when we uh, add a new kitty here oops I'll just change the name to this and when we send the request a new kitty is created and we get the response as an array in get kitties so we have our mongoose connected or mongodb rather connected and so now we can create a new folder called config and we'll move this uh, URL uh, in a new file within config I'm just gonna call it index.js and I'm gonna create a new constant called mongo connection URL and paste that URL in there now since we have the config file separate we'll just try requiring it and uh, I'm gonna say dot mongo connection URL so I'll grab that URL and paste it here now number one mistake variable name was incorrect uh, but somehow um, I wasn't actually getting it in the response so I tried exporting it maybe that will work right because if one thing doesn't work just you know change the syntax itself uh, but this throws an error called unexpected token uh, can you guess why that happened so I tried uh, changing it back to require and it still didn't work I got rid of export and it still didn't work so now I decided maybe I should just console and see what I'm getting in the require uh, so I created a new uh, variable and, uh, and just console it and uh, it shows like an empty object can you guess what happened I'm gonna tell you the answer in the next video